Hi everybody, welcome back to our Blessed Performance YouTube channel. Today, we're going to install a no limit piping kit on Dagon's truck. Funny story, we're gonna talk about it real quick. Okay, we're gonna share this. <laughs> so Dagon here, he's holding the camera. That's his 6.7, that's a pretty truck. He went down south to Douglas last night to pick himself up a, uh, a set of wheels. I uh, traded his stock ones for those and some cash, whatever, you know. You know how you guys do it. We trade some wheels once in a while. Um, drives all the way back to, from Douglas. That's a 300 mile round trip. Does that in, you know, five hours round trip last night. Needless to say, pulls it in here and moves the truck that I have to work on out so he can, so he can, uh, I have to change the CP4 in a truck because it's not holding rail pressure. <laughs> You don't say. Anyways, pulls the truck out and then pulls his in to put his tires on. Goes to start his truck. Once you know it, his CP4 decides to have problems. Come to find out, thank goodness it was just a line. For some reason, the line somehow rotted itself out. And um, we put a new set of lines on it. We put an SNS Gen 2 disaster prevention kit on it. And while we have it apart, we were already planning on it. We're going to put a no limit piping kit on it. Piping kit on it, okay? We got the stainless steel no limit piping kit. Come here, Dagon. Show them how gorgeous that looks in there. And of course, we're gonna powder coat it in house. This is bronze chrome, chrome bronze from Prismatic Powders. We stock this. We use this on a lot of our other other stuff. It looks absolutely killer. But the No Limit kit is a little bit different than a lot of the other ones out there. Now they all are great kits. Okay, there's you're not gonna get me to tell you one's better than the other because I think they're all awesome. They all have their different advantages, different ways of installing, and they all look a little bit differently when installed. MPD has a billet uh, Y bridge up top, Pusher has a, a welded one together, and No Limit did it a little bit differently. They're using this vengeance clamp right here. And you slide this together, and you got your flanges that go on the on your intake manifold right here. So in the kit, it'll come with new gaskets, the O-ring for this, all your hardware. You can order it powder coated or raw. We can also powder coat it before shipping in one of our 10 standard colors because we stock these here. So we can always powder coat it any color that you would like. What are you gonna gain from a piping kit? Well, number one, it's gonna look a million times better. I don't know about you, but taking them plastic intakes off, gosh, you talk <laughs> about a pain in the butt. You guaranteed to scratch the living daylights out of your hand. So when you remove those, uh, you increase airflow. Anytime you increase airflow, it's a win in a diesel pickup. I don't care which way you're doing it, I mean, other than putting a hole in the side of the block, I wouldn't do that way, okay? <laughs> Don't increase airflow that way. Increase airflow by improving the airflow system, the intake system. Better intake air filter, piping kits, okay? So the piping kit, generally we see one to two mile per gallon gains and right around 150 to 200 degree drops in EGT for the piping kit. So we're gonna get this bad boy installed. We'll show you guys an after video. So that way you can see what it looks like installed. It's really not rocket science. We've already tore it down. I didn't start recording it before tear down. These, these flanges, they go on one side only. You'll see that when it's all put together, okay? Uh, you gotta make sure you move your sensors over. That's really the biggest, most important thing. There's really nothing else. I mean, the boots can be a little pain in the butt, fighting them into place, that kind of stuff. But the rest of it is pretty straightforward, okay? We'll show you guys what it looks like after we're all said and done. Well guys, we got the uh, no limit piping kit installed. We got a few more things that we're gonna do in this truck to clean up the engine bay because I'm a stickler about cleaning this our engine bay. Uh, we're gonna, this truck Dagan bought and the wires, um, another shop in town did some wires up top so don't judge me too hard. I have another truck that has to be done today, the CP4, so uh, I'm not gonna do that right now or else I would spend a couple hours cleaning it up and I just need to get the other truck done. We'll bring Dagan's truck back in and do that at that point. Uh, for quick reference, you want to make sure your charge air cooler sensor is facing in on this elbow when you do this. What you do with the two Y bridge pieces is you take and lightly thread them together, and then you take and press that together, put your clamp on, and then tighten the rest, tighten them all the way down. You want them to like snug, but not like, you want to still have a little play back there when you're putting those together. And then from there, you'll move on to putting your hot side pipe on, and then the rest of your cold side pipe down here. The intake, there is a dipstick tube mount for it as well that we'll end up putting on at some point and then the intake comes in here. It's really goes together, it's pretty pretty standard common sense how it goes. That being said, we got pictures on the website. That's why I didn't do a full off, you know, installation video. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Thanks for all the support guys. Give us a call with any questions, 1-800-577-2698. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow, all that fancy stuff, you know. The same stuff we tell you every time, but we're gonna keep telling you so that way you click the button. Once again, uh, yes, I did forget something here. I forgot something. 
Guess what I forgot? What? This has to be rated based on how many beers you need to do this. Uh, at least twelve. No. No. Are we talking? Are we talking S and S kit and all or what? No, we're talking just the piping kit. We're gonna say a six pack. 